There's all this white stuff on the center console when I got in. It's not my car. It's actually the CEO's. I even found some panties in the back, you know. At least we know someone's getting late. It's not me. What a good day to be out and about. The sun is out and the workers are inside where they should be. The CEO, he gave me a special task. He sent me out to do a little research today. You know, he wants everybody back in the office now that the pandemic is over. He said, I want you to go out there, find a way to make it unique, innovative, and collaborative. So we're just out on the hunt, trying to find some ways to make people really want to make that commute. This seems to be a common trend in the office lately. I mean, I've seen a lot of slides, but I haven't seen a swing set. You know, they say this is for kids, but that's how we treat them at the office anyways. That's what these millennials want, really. Would you look at that? It kind of reminds me of kindergarten a little bit, and that's how we like to have our office design. I mean, look at this. You think this could double as a, as a sleeping pod? You know, we put a little mattress in here. They could just fall right asleep. Oh, I'm too old for this. Oh, look, we have the two for one. Not just the single slide like you've seen at offices. This is the two for one right here. That way we stay inclusive. A little hard on the butt, but I think a few of our employees could use a good panel in these days. Those darn millennials. So you get one of these right here and you put your engineers on it, really gets them their, their critical thinking skills. You match the color. Damn it, Dave. No one's there. This is why you're in middle management. Just like this. Truly an innovative concept. We base everything around kindergarten. You know, is it in a kindergarten classroom? Well, then we want it in our office. And some people might say, you know, why are you looking down on them like they're children? I mean, we're not looking down on them. You know, they're just looking up at us. That's the difference. Now, one of these things here that we have that I haven't seen anywhere else are these bells right here. You're being harassed at work? Ring the bell. Oh, look, they even have a motto, no limits. And when you're in our company, there truly are no limits on the amount of overtime you'll be working. I'm gonna be CEO one day. On to our next location. We definitely noted all the pros and cons of that. You know, a good way to judge a playground is by how many kids are on the playground. So maybe we'll just go ask some kids for some recommendations. I don't think they'll have any problem with that. FBI, open up! I really think all these changes inside the office are going to attract top talent. It's too bad that the elementary schools are out for summer because otherwise we could just go into their classrooms and see what they use for inspiration. Maybe we could get some of those posters on the wall about dignity and integrity and, and courage. We'll put those around the office. If you really want to get into middle management, you need to make yourself familiar with golf courses, golf clubs, and lots of balls. It takes me back to the days when I was worried about getting my promotion. Oh, I think I know them. That's my buddy right there. I think he's, he's practicing for a promotion. And that's what we say. Take your boss to golf and make sure those belt buckle skills are on point and you'll get that promotion. You know, he told me I can only take the Audi if I keep it shiny. And I think we just got a little blur here. You gotta learn how to keep things clean in corporate. Get really good at spitting. You know, I like spitters in corporate. The boss really likes to see himself. He likes to see his reflection, you know. Make sure if you can see the reflection, the car is good to go. Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be outside. Get back in the office. It's not your lunch break. What are you doing? You think it's Sunday morning? You just got out of church or something? Get back in there. You know, look at that. Private property, 24-hour video surveillance, trespassers will be prosecuted. Do you think they'd let us in if we ask if we can just try out the pool? Maybe we could put a little jacuzzi in the office. You know, everybody can just, you know, take off their clothes, relax, get ready to get promoted. We have another example. Two slides, one green, one purple. This is definitely an injury waiting to happen. You know, but maybe it would get rid of a few people. Well, maybe it could work out. Maybe we should get this. Huh. I really think the boss is going to be impressed. Wow. Seamless integration up the ladder. Look at this. They even mounted a little telescope so you could look at what everyone else is doing. Now, this is genius right here. There's accounting over there. And we have the IT department over here. And there's HR over there. The 
This is great. Absolutely. Wow. He's going to love this. You know, these things can be quite expensive, and we could just give them a bonus, a gift card, something, but I really think they'll appreciate the slide. We have one employee named Josh. He's always on those slides. I, was, I would rate that an 8 out of 10. You know, pretty slippery, but kind of rough, but I like it. It looks like the boss wants his car back. Looks like we've been out of the office too long. I should know better than that. He's gonna take away more vacation. I'm in the negatives now. I think I owe like four weeks. Oh, it's, it's the boss calling. One second, one second. Hello? Yeah, we're just, I'm doing what you told. He wanted me to go. I'm sorry we've been gone so long and we need to work on my presentation skills, my oral presentation skills. I mean, if that's what you think I need. All right, well, I'll have the car back. All right, well, I, I, th I really think we have some innovative ideas for the office. It's gonna be great. I think it's within our budget, too. I know we could give them raises, but we could talk about my promotion. You said we could talk about my promotion. But I've been practicing. All right, I'll bring the belt. Hello? They hung up on me. You know, I was getting a little worried there about what was gonna happen with my job if we weren't gonna come back to the office because I don't have anyone to look after if I'm at home and they're at home. I've actually been going to therapy lately for what they call, I think they deemed it object permanence issues. So it's something that I just can't seem to grasp, you know. If, if I can't see them working, how can they be working? It just doesn't make any sense. It's like they're breaking the laws of quantum physics. I don't understand. This every time we make a sale, we ring the bell. Would you look at that? They're conditioning from a young age, as they should be. Well, I mean, I, I guess. Yoga room. It's perfect. Is that man pushing a lawnmower on a skateboard? Yeah! He is! He is. <laughs> <laughs> That's big brain. <laughs> That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor. Click like, click subscribe if you want to see more memes about corporate, and if you have any other skit ideas you'd like to see, leave them down in the comments below. We like to make them, they just take a little bit to make. This one took two and a half, almost three days to make for seven minutes, but they're super fun. I get to put my filmmaking skills to use, and we're happy to make more if you got good ideas. So I think that's it. If you'd like to support the channel, there's some links down in the description. Otherwise, see you guys in the next one.